And we're rolling there. Okay. Three, two, one. What? I'm goofy, yeah. Spring and Mill in the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. There's also a one room schoolhouse at this location. The real draw, though, is the mill. I did walk up to the uh, schoolhouse, took a little gander in it. I just didn't see a photographic composition there that day while we were there that I really wanted to make. Still, it was a cool experience seeing another one-room schoolhouse. I've seen quite a few in our travels. The mill that you see at Alley Mill in Spring currently is not the original mill. The original mill was a traditional grist mill with a water wheel. The mill that is there on site now was built back in the late 1800s and is using a James Leffel turbine. This uh, turbine, basically you back up the water and you let it drop through the turbine. It's just like hydroelectric power works today. It is actually the foundation of it. So what it will do is it drops down through the turbine, spinning the blade similar to a bathtub being drained. And the mill itself at Alley could produce 20 to 30 horsepower back in its day compared to five to 15 horsepower of a traditional water wheel much more advanced. Uh, the power was transferred via belts into the uh, mill itself where they could mill multiple things at a time because they were using rollers instead of grist stones. So what we're seeing here is the upstream or head gate to the turbine housing area. The turbine would be between these two gates. You would close the downstream gate backing up and filling up that turbine area. 
and then the turbine would actually start spinning because the water would drain through the turbine and then out through an outflow, which you're going to see very shortly. This is just an ingenious invention, and we still use it for hydro nowadays. So this is the outflow. This is not gated. So this is where the water would come out. Here we are in the Ozark National Scenic Riverway at Alley Spring and Mill, and it's roughly noon, probably typically the wrong time of day, but I found an interesting foreground with some interesting light on it, and we're just scouting, but I'm taking this shot anyway. We're probably going to come back here for this afternoon's shoot and do some more stuff when the light's a little less harsh on the water that you can hear running behind us. This is just a gorgeous old mill. What I did is I framed up a uh, gnarly old oak tree here. Its root system is just clinging to the bank. That's on the right hand side of the frame. And then you've got the actual gate for the mill where the water's just rushing through and then the, the red mill off on the side. What an awesome location. So right now I'm taking a second composition here. It's an ultra wide pano with the mill and most of the creek in the shot. And I'm bracketing it because the sun, the light coming in is what I want. I don't think it's gonna be that way when we get back here in an hour or two. Um, so this will be the last one at midday, which yeah, I know I'm crazy. Taking photos in the middle of the day. Shouldn't be doing that, right? Well, I hate to tell you, you can do it. Sometimes you get some interesting light. I mean, like right now, the light that's falling in here is shaded by all the trees that we have on the bluffs around us. So that's probably the big reason why I can shoot right now. So hopefully this turns out. You'll know before I do. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe button and ding the bell for future notifications. It really helps out the channel. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video as well. We're not done with Alley Spring and Mill yet. Believe it or not, we spent a full day there. We took a little break, went back, had a little bite to eat where we were staying at the RV in Echo Bluff. That's another future episode as well. But next week, We'll be doing part two of Alley Spring and Mill, and it is a photographic bonanza. I highly recommend this spot, and if it, you can only do one spot in the Ozark National Scenic Riverways, this is the spot to do. Spend at least two days there, find your compositions, use your apps to figure out the right time of day to be in each location, and get the shots that you want. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week again at Alley Spring and Mill for part two.